For Dine at a D, as you know, Michelle Oliver has spent the week showing us all the fun that can be had at our sponsor, Kalahari Resorts and Conventions. And you've probably guessed she had to check out the food scene while she was there. So let's see what there is to eat at Kalahari. Kalahari Resorts in Sandusky, you can work up quite the appetite splashing around in the waves and swirling down the slides. Luckily, you don't even need to leave the resort to grab a bite to eat. We love, love, love our food here. When I say love, love, we have chefs and hats walking all over the building. It's so much fun for everybody to see how seriously we take food. We've got lots of different choices though, so don't feel like you are gonna come and just have one thing to pick from. So let's start with breakfast. We have great Karu buffet and they do an a la carte menu too at times. Wonderful buffet and wonderful food arrangement there. And we have Java, which is our Starbucks on property and you can get some nice sweet treats or a, a little breakfast wrap if that suits your needs. If you don't feel like drying off, you could always grab lunch at one of the concession stands inside the water park. But if you do want to take a break and really indulge, check out b -Lux. Belux is a craft burger and milkshake. And when I say milkshakes, I mean anything you can imagine mixed in with a little bit of ice cream. And then any kind of burger to pair with that. Anything you want on a burger, they're gonna do it for you. We've also got some really fun mac and cheese dishes over there, great salads, so nice American casual fare. For a quick afternoon treat, head on over to the Candy Hut. And then for dinner, Sortino's is the place to be. Sortino's was handed over to us by George Sortino. He and his brother Jimmy have spent years and years, several decades worth of perfecting these recipes. The recipes were passed down to him from his father who immigrated from Sicily in 1952. So when I say authentic Italian cuisine, it's exactly what you're getting. So we really wanted this restaurant concept to feel like the food tastes, very authentic. Well, this is a beautiful spread here, so let's get into the menu, and we're going to start with their cheese and meat board. It's full of salamis and cured meats, fresh Italian cheeses. I also spotted some olives on there, tomatoes, fresh basil, just a nice way to start off your meal. Moving on now to their entrees, one of their crowd pleasers is their pizza. Now this is 10 inch hand tossed pizza. We have this one with giant pepperonis on it, as well as Italian sausage and a sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. Now, the original owner, George, actually created this next dish. It's called Pasta Mafia. And as the menu says, it's a pasta you can't refuse. So this one has steak on it. You can get it cooked to your liking. It also has fettuccine and lots of vegetables, including broccoli, scallions, peppers, all in a spicy cream sauce. And a great way to end your meal is with dessert, so why not try one of their house-made cannolis? So these are filled with a ricotta cream, and you can get them dipped with whatever you like, including chocolate or sprinkles. So no matter what you're in the mood for, Kalahari has something to satisfy your craving. And to learn more about all that Kalahari Resorts and Conventions has to offer and make your reservations to visit, go to their website, kalahariresorts.com. Again, that's kalahariresorts.com. Michelle, it looks like you had so much fun there. I did. I, I've been going to Kalahari since I was a kid. I love the water park. It mm -hmm. is just so much fun and it fits all age groups. I have a sister who, she's now 17, but we have a 15 year age gap and it was just it was, it's always a blast and it fits everyone. And for mom and dad, there is a swim up bar in the hot tub. Yes. And it's an indoor outdoor hot tub. Mm. Nice. It's a nice way to end a night. Mm. <laughs> so each week we tell viewers about your Dine in the D a newsletter. Why don't you tell everybody about what they can look forward to? Right. So yeah, if you're a foodie and or just want some restaurant recommendations, sign up for my newsletter. The Dine in the D newsletter is sent straight to your inbox every other Thursday. I've, I always include a list of different places. Coming up, I'm looking at some ice cream places. Yes. July is National Ice Cream Month. I try to mix it up so it's not always the same place. I do interviews with chefs behind the scenes. I sometimes speak to other foodies. I get tips on how to get a good foodie picture. So it's, I share my recipes, uh, other chefs' recipes. So it's a bunch mm -hmm. of 
all kinds of things food. Basically, it's a lot of exclusive information. It's a lot of exclusive information. If you like Dinah the D and you wish like, oh, I want more, this, that, is, this, is, more. this is it, this is the more. There you go. Why don't we sign up? To sign up for the newsletter, look at the newsletter tab at the top of clickondetroit.com and there you can tell me where I should go next. You can email me or you can let us know by leaving a comment on this story on Click on Detroit. Well, I, I pitched it before and I'll pitch it again until we finally go out there. But out in Jackson, yes, uh, there is a place called The Parlor. It used to be called Jackson okay. All-Star Dairy. It's one of those places where if you can finish the 21 Scoop Sunday, you go on the oh, Hall of Fame. Oh, nice. You get it free and you're on the Hall of Fame wall. And So yeah. would you go with me? I would definitely go with you. And we can try and, can we, can we do parlor. a joint venture of finishing that thing together? I, I don't I think that, that would count. I don't think so. That doesn't count? Yeah. 